Hello, and welcome back to The Hills Bought a Bus. Just to recap... We are on the road with our schoolie and started the adventure. Here's Joe driving the first leg. We have a sheet up in the back. And back there's the motorcycle. Wish us luck! The main progress being in the last video that we removed all the chairs, no matter how stubborn the bolts, because yay, angle grinder. In this episode, we'll be removing all the inside roof paneling. We were going to keep it as is, but being that the material is aluminum and therefore not magnetic, we're going to go with plan A for some kind of magnetic material here. Plan B would be wood. Live action video and heavy amounts of speed already taken. You can see here that we've gone with the concept of putting blue tape on all the panels so that way we can keep them uh, maybe for later. That's funny. And you'll see why later. It took a minute to kind of get going because the idea was to really to try and preserve these panels. So funny. Ah, uh, this is what's known as Death's Corner. Watch me be cavalier about just disassembling this thing. Note, yes, this is where all the electronics happen, and no, there was no manual. This dark green lining crap? I really hate this crap. Luckily our paneling had screws rather than rivets, however that green crap I mentioned earlier required a hammer and crowbar every three to five inches along the entire seam in order to break it up. This was very therapeutic however, but very- <laughs> more to say here than keep hammering ape holes. Melissa has now come to inspect what the hell is going on with all this racket and commotion. F this frickin' green clay crap. Teamwork makes the dream work. It was late, but after removing the ceiling tiles, this insulation was a bit moldy and gross, so I decided to remove it before calling it a day. Please join us next time when I battle this effing thing for about two hours before being able to claim victory. Not to mention rerouting the underside and the sweet taste of radiator fluid.